and welcome to this week's Crafternoon Tea. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little ladybird plant pot. So all you'll need for this craft is some red paint, some black paint, a little bit of white paint, um, a permanent marker and of course a plant pot. So I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide. Hope you enjoy making this craft and don't forget to share your pictures with us. First of all, we need to get some red paint to do the base of our ladybird pot. So I'm using acrylic paint and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the whole of the pot red to begin with and then we'll add the details on after. So you might need one coat, you might need two, it depends on the quality of your paint um, and what sort of coverage you want. So just go all the way around, make sure it's all covered. Don't put it on too thickly, otherwise you'll end up getting some streaks in your paint. So we've almost finished the first round. So the base is all painted and now we're going to do the top bit. So this is where it can get a bit messy. You might choose to do it in stages so you could leave it to dry for a bit. So we want to cover it all. There we go. So we've covered the base of our pot and we're going to leave this to dry for a minute and then we're going to come back and we're going to add the details for our ladybird. So see you in a sec. So welcome back. So we've got our plant pot completely covered. So what I've done is I've started to draw the design for the ladybird out. So I've got the head and the little um, antlers. I'm not really sure what they're called. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw some dots around as well. So again, I'm going to use paint, but to draw the antlers on, because they're kind of um, quite thin, I'm just going to use a permanent marker. So what I'll do is I'll hold it up so you can see. There we go. We've got the two twirly bits <laughs> and now we're going to paint the face and the dots. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw some random dots to make sure they're evenly sort of spread out. It's entirely up to you how many dots you want to do. But you should be able to see I've drawn some dots all the way around the front. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a smaller paintbrush and I'm just going to use some black paint and I'm going to paint the face on first of all because we're going to need to add some eyes in there too. As you can see, it's starting to take some shape.
So we've got the face of our ladybird. And now I'm just going to paint the dots. So while that's drying, then we can add to the ladybird's eyes as well. So you don't have to do the dots in paint. You can do them with the pen if you want, if you find that easier. It's entirely up to you. I recommend working from the bottom up um, so you don't end up putting your hand in it. I'm going to come back to the ones along the rim. As you can see, I've got a little bit of blue on there, but that's all right. I can paint over that. Must have had some blue paint on my palette. Once you've painted on the ones that you've drawn, you might think you want to add some more. So you can always go back and add them as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rub out the dot I'd already drawn. And I'm going to cover it, the blue spot I've made by accident, with paint instead. That's one way to cover up something if you've messed it up. <laughs> Okay, so I've got all my ladybird dots. You might want to add some more, you might want to do less, it's entirely up to you. And now what I'm going to do, it should be almost dry enough, I'm going to try and do the eyes. So I've got some white paint for this. I'm just going to do two circles. There's two, and let's give them a little mouth. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is it wasn't quite dry enough, but it's okay. So I'm going to just add a little black dot in the middle. And there we have it we've made our own ladybird plant pot. So you can give this as a gift, you can keep it for yourself in your garden. Uh, you can get creative, you can make other little creatures, you could do bumblebees, you could find a way to do a butterfly. It's entirely up to you. But have a bit of fun, have a go, and don't forget to share your makes with us. See you in the next one.